Hi, we're going to do some Lewis dot structure practice. Now, all of these that I've chosen, the seven up here, they're going to be very straightforward octet practice, um, where we don't have any exceptions and we're not using coordinate covalent bonds. Um, so this is just kind of getting you used to the basics on covalent uh, bonding and, and drawing Lewis dot structures. Let's start with the HCL. So um, as you begin, I would recommend do the electron dot. You'll get fast, you'll be able to do this in your head, but I'm going to be pretty systematic um, in showing you electron dot and then how those um, electrons come together to make an octet. Uh, so we've got our hydrogen has one valence electron and the chlorine has seven valence electrons. Uh, so remember the hydrogen, it needs a total of two electrons to have that uh, full shell and the chlorine needs eight. It needs eight. Only hydrogen and helium need the two. Everything else on the periodic table, all the other elements, a uh, full octet will be eight. Okay, um, so I can see that electron and that electron. They're going to come together and share. So if they share, we'll have an electron from the hydrogen, an electron from the chlorine. And then as a reminder, when two electrons come together and share, that is a single bond. And we use a line to indicate that. So H. That dash is showing those two electrons sharing, and then CO. As a reminder, the hydrogen thinks both of those electrons belong to it. So it has the sense of a full shell, that full uh, 1s, um, so it's stable. Now the chlorine, likewise, also thinks that both of those electrons belong to its atom, so it senses 2, 4, 6, 8, a full octet, the stability of a full octet. Okay, let's look at methane. Um, now, when you start getting more than uh, just two atoms like this, that they look linear, choose the atom with the fewest valence electrons to become the central atom, with the exception of hydrogen. Hydrogen will always be, it's called a substituent, is what's attached to the central atom. The atom attached to the central atom is a substituent. So I look at my carbon, we've got four valence electrons, and hydrogen, I've got four hydrogens. As a reminder, the hydrogen has one valence electron. Um, so hydrogen, that will never be a central atom. Carbon, uh, that will be our central atom, and it has the four valence electrons. One, two, three, four. Okay, now carbon needs four more valence electrons um, to get to that octet. So this is perfect. It needs four more electrons, it can get it from the hydrogen, the four hydrogens. So we'll have a hydrogen share here, a hydrogen share there, share on the left side, and share down here on the bottom. Now for every two electrons, that's a bond, and so we end up getting methane like this. That is methane. Um, shapes, you'll learn shapes later. Okay, let's look at this um, CH2Cl2. So carbon, again, four valence electrons. Hydrogen has one valence electron. I make a note, I've got two hydrogens. Chlorine has seven valence electrons, and I've got two. Two of those chlorines. Okay, so the central atom, which one do I choose for the central atom? The atom with the fewest valence electrons. That will be the carbon. So carbon is going to be in the center. Um, okay, so I've got my carbon with, oops, excuse me, the four valence electrons. Um, now, hydrogen, pretty easy. I can see where hydrogen's going to go. I could uh, share an electron with the uh, carbon, and here one electron will share. Notice I skipped this step. Um, I just went right to, okay, when I share an electron, share an electron. Now I have these two electrons. So I look at the chlorine. Ah, chlorine, it only needs one more electron for, for a full octet. So I can share this electron with that electron. So share electron, and the chlorine still has its three um, paired electrons, excuse me, lone pair electrons. So the one, two, three lone pair electrons. And then this electron right there can share with the chlorine. Now, notice I was very diligent in putting those lone pair electrons. Same thing with over here. That's very important. When you are doing Lewis dot structures, always show the lone pair electrons. That's significant. Okay, and there we have it. Now, it does not matter where you put the hydrogens or the chlorines. I could have put a hydrogen and a hydrogen, chlorine, chlorine. 
I could have swapped this. Chlorine's down here, hydrogen's up there. It doesn't matter where you put them. Doesn't matter where you put them. Okay, um, now let's come to this um, HOCl. So we've got hydrogen, one valence electron. Oxygen has six valence electrons. The chlorine has seven valence electrons. So again, central atom, I'm going to use the oxygen because it has the fewest valence electrons. So let's put oxygen in the center. Okay, oxygen needs two more electrons. I'm going to put the hydrogen right away. Uh, so the hydrogen, nice. That's going to share an electron. And then the chlorine can share that one electron here. And so then the chlorine will have its three lone pairs of electrons. <clears throat> Let's check this really quick. Notice the hydrogen senses two electrons, perfect. The oxygen senses two, four, six, eight, perfect. And the chlorine senses two, four, six, eight. Excellent. So everything has that um, sense through sharing electrons of a full shell, of a full shell. Okay, let's come to a diatomic element, chlorine. Uh, so again, chlorine has seven valence electrons, but I've got two of these. So I can see that that electron can share with the other unpaired electron of the second chlorine. We will get the chlorine sharing in the middle one electron from this chlorine, one electron from this chlorine, and then each chlorine is going to have three lone pairs of electrons. Uh, so there's the stability of a diatomic element, that we have our seven diatomic elements. Um, and, oops, and the reason why they are diatomic is because they're stable with Lewis dot structures, those covalent bonds, to get a full octet. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Just as a reminder, your seven diatomic elements are bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine. In their elemental form, um, they are going to be always a subscript two. So Br2, I2, N2, Cl2, H2, O2, and F2. Bromine is a liquid in elemental form. Iodine is a solid in elemental form. I'll put um, liquid, solid, everything else here is going to be a gas. Um, so if you have a reaction that says oxygen reacts with, you always put O2, and it's because of the stability of the octet. Or chlorine reacts with, you put Cl2. Okay, let's look at this. We've got carbon um, is going to be our central atom with four valence electrons. Remember hydrogen has one valence electron and chlorine has seven. Okay, so let's do the hydrogen first. The hydrogen can share with that carbon. Now I've got three chlorines. Each chlorine needs one electron, and check it out, carbon needs three more electrons. So I can share each of those three chlorines there, and carbon will get the electrons that it needs. So I'm going to take this electron and share it with that one electron from the chlorine. So the chlorine will have still its three lone pair of electrons, and then this electron will share with an electron from a chlorine. And then it will have the three lone pairs. And the last chlorine, it will share. And let me draw this out just to re as a reminder if you're feeling a little confused. Here's a chlorine. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's going to share that electron with the carbon. Two electrons, that becomes the bond. Um, so I draw... Uh, my Lewis dot structures always start starting from the top. You can move those um, unpaired electrons and the lone pairs anywhere around the atom. Um, so that's how I can draw it down below. Okay, so there we have the uh, CHCl3. Last one. Oh, I have two carbons this time. So four valence electrons and I've got six hydrogens and the one valence electron. When you have multiple carbons, put them in a chain. That's where I always start, is I line up the carbons in a chain. So I'm going to do carbon and carbon. So in between there, I'll start with a single bond. Um, so I can see that each carbon, we need one, two, three more electrons. Because right now, if I stopped right now, this carbon senses two, three, four, five electrons. So I need three more electrons. Well, I've got six hydrogens. Let's go ahead and add some hydrogens to each of these. Okay, so this carbon is looking great. It senses two, four, six, eight electrons. This carbon over here senses two, three, four, five. It needs three more um, 
the electrons. Oh, so I used three hydrogens, so I used three more hydrogens. Perfect. So I'm going to share an electron, share an electron, and share an electron. And now that carbon sense is two, four, six, eight. So there's some more practice on just basic octet Lewis dot structures. Thank you. Have a nice day.